All right. Questions for coach? John Krause. Hey, Brad. Um, you talked about Gordon the other day and how you're still going to play through him and how he and others have done a good job helping with Jalen and Jason's uh, progression. Uh, I was wondering, how difficult is that for a player of, you know, Gordon stature, how good he is um, to take that kind of step back? Where is the line where he kind of steps a little bit back for them to, to kind of flourish? And, you know, when does he kind of start to take over? I think when people say take over, I think that's usually an insinuation that you're looking to score. You know, I think that he's just going to, when he uses a pick and roll, when he uses an action, he's going he's gonna to make the play that opens itself up. So if they overhelp, he's going to pass the ball. If he has an opportunity to score, he's going to score. Um, if it's just as simple as it's guarded well and he just reverses it and moves on to the next action, he's going to do that. He's always been a guy that has just, um, you know, kind of made his when he's he's as good as there is as as just making the right play, and so I think that that's you know that's in his wheelhouse anyways, and um, and uh, you know obviously uh, it's 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 a guy that can help make the game easier for others, um, and you know I think that everybody benefits from playing with those guys, and I don't think. Again, I thought I think Gordon's done it, but I think Kimba's been great with that. Smart's been a constant with that, and that's you know uh, I don't think it's a coincidence that those two guys have ascended. They certainly have um, you know have have done a ton of good things to improve themselves. Um, but the guys around him, uh, Tice included, have all done that. Question in person, Gary Washburn. Uh, yeah, and he was the one that probably worked closely, closest with Kara. Like, yeah. what do you will that affect him at all? Her leaving and, and yeah. So, so Tony's going to work with Carson now. Kara and Tony have a great relationship. Have talked that out. So we they've spent a lot of time already together, um, both breaking down film and working out. I think that'll be a smooth transition. Um, but that's certainly something that you know, you know, a lot of times the. Um, players get really tight with the coaches that they work out with the most or watch film with. And, um, you know, and, and Tremont also did and Smart did. And so there's there's a number of people that are transitioning a little, but they also have great relationships with the people that are working them out now. Carson's done a good job in these, you know, first couple of weeks. Is it the person that benefited most from the break? Uh, yeah, I think um, all the young guys, right? Because sometimes when you're at the end of a season and you're not playing as much, it's really hard to, to be as you know psyched about coming to the gym every day and growing and getting better as when you feel like you have a new lease on life and you have a new opportunity. And um, and even though it's the same season, in a lot of ways you get that feeling, you know. Uh, so I see that in a lot of guys, you know. And, and the hard part is like tomorrow. You know, some guys that have played really well because we're only playing 10-minute quarters are not going to play as much. Um, but we'll get everybody a lot of reps in the next three games. Mark Murphy. Hi, Brad. Um, you talked about how much Jason is going to continue to just deal with this blitzing and trapping just because of who he is. But when Gordon – really settled into that facilitating role, just making the right play. How much can that take the pressure off Jason in those situations? Well, Gordon can, Jalen can, Kimba can when he when he's out there. Uh, Marcus Smart can. We should be a hard team to blitz. Um, it's, it's all going to be about um, when we're being blitzed, um, the recognition of the person with the ball and the spacing of the person around the ball of the people around the ball. If both of those things are good, then we should be a really hard team to blitz. If we have, you know, bigs that can finish above the rim on lobs, once they get out of there, they can all pass in the middle of the court. And then the guards can all play. And when it's four on three playing out of a blitz, you know, our guards should all be able to take advantage of that. But, you know, we have to be ready. The, the person being blitzed has to be 
ready and the and the people around them have to be spaced well. Abby Chin. Hi, Brad. Uh, just injury wise, has everyone come out healthy other than Kemba? Are you expecting everyone to play in the scrimmage tomorrow? I don't know if everybody will play because we have 16 players that will be ready to play or uh, able to play. I just don't know if that's functional in 10 minute quarters, but um, everybody will play is, is, is a play over the next three games, you know, quite a bit. And then uh, Kimba won't, um, but everybody practiced and everybody went live in practice, including uh, Mark D'Amico. Hi, Coach. Uh, obviously, scrimmages started yesterday. You guys get to play tomorrow. And I know that you guys have taken a tour of um, the court to kind of see what the whole setup is. What was your reaction um, when you took that tour and, and you got to see in person, or I guess over video, um, what, what it actually looks like while a scrimmage is going on yesterday? Well, I think there will be – I know that they've got enhancements planned for the games themselves that will make it look even more – even better. Um, but the the court, the setup, the boards around the, – the video boards around the court, um, all of their plans to use those video boards creatively, some of which they probably are doing now, although I didn't watch many of the games. Um, but I know they're holding back. Some of those ideas are all like – ridiculously creative and and I, I couldn't say enough good things about the way that they've set up those courts there when I first walked in I actually toured it with Masai uh, Ujiri and Kyle Lowry and and I think we were all just kind of blown away by the setup all right thank you coach thanks